Well, Ding Dong has done it. She has conquered the top end, enjoying just about everything the NT has to offer. Yeah, Denise, what a trip you've had. Where are you now? Well, here I am at the Waterfront Beach Club, where you can sit. You've got the lagoon in the front of you. You can sit on the lounges, order a drink, something to eat. It's fantastic. But what a week it has been uh, up here in Darwin. We've been everywhere. We've done so many things. It's been so exhilarating. My stomach's turned a couple of times, but it's been fantastic. And all the people up here are just so lovely. So do yourself a favour. But let me show you some of the things that we've done this week. Righto, Scooter, come on, baby boy. And you come up, and then you get it. Good boy, oh, Scooter. And then you don't drop the pole. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got to be in with me. No, buggy you. No. <laughs> You're going to hold the stick? No, you might like sticks. <laughs> Do you want to feed him? No, I don't. Thank you, Matt. That's your job. There you go. Good so eye. He'll swallow that straight down. Oh, that's a nice... And what does he have for sweets? Maybe the other part of the pig. Oh. Certain texture, that certain smell. Brings home the heavy day. This is the traditional dilly bag, made out of? Um, the fan palm, yep, uh, which is this one. Fan palm? Yes. And you're going to show me how to split that? No. We're going to have to go on to the uh, didgeridoo, I think, and leave the <laughs> basket weaving to the and professionals. The... Now tell me about the cage of death. <laughs> so the cage is up close and personal with our large salties. They're all about maybe five metres long. Isn't it amazing? Tristan starts on the show. <laughs> oh, we can't send Tristan to Darwin into the cage of death. No, we just send Denise. <laughs> I don't know. See, I don't know if I'd be able to do that even if... Our ding... I mean... I'd love to, don't get me wrong. Do they realise that she is a double gold Logie winner? That we're putting her in this cage of death? Look at all the scratches on the side! We're, oh, oh, you can stick your fingers here. Yeah. Oh, here she goes. Oh, gosh. OK. Oh, they're all right. How nice is the music? They're not even sniffing around. Oh, shit. We should put a language warning on this. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you don't want to see that. You can give it a go if you want. That's enough now. <laughs> It's an absolutely amazing oh, place to come and visit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Coming up there for a like. fish. Territory Wildlife Park is on place like any other because it's pretty much like you're in your own natural environment where the animals actually live. And here, oh, this is <laughs> base Geraldine's our biggest, and then Ray Parker Jr. is our smallest one, our little boy. The other all two are the, girls. All the girls are the big ones. Oh, he's running again. He's running. I've seen it on the telly. He's running. He's running. He's not going to get away from me, though. How deep is this tank that he's... Oh, oh we got another one behind us. <laughs> Here, I've got him, I've got him! Get the finger, get the net! Go, bud. Hey, well done. High five. Good to Australia. This is Australia. This is Australia. This is Australia. Pretty great, hey? That's, I've done all of that stuff this week at the Northern Territory, just out of Darwin. Now, I've got some people to thank who have been marvellous to me and made the experience just so wonderful. We had Lynn at Litchfield, Matt at the Crocodile Farm, Steve, the Jumping Croc Cruise, hysterical, Lynette and Graham at the Paddockal Aboriginal Cultural Centre. We had Charlotte at Crocosaurus Cove, where the cage of death took me down, down into the depths. Then we had Mark at the River Rays, Tommy and Doring, Dorian at Barramundi Adventures. And if you want to experience what I experienced this week, go to northernterritory.com. That's it. Do yourself a favour.
Bye, gang.